please, Lords of Speed, don't let these exhaust manifold bolts break off in the head. Thank you. Oh, oh God. Something just popped that wasn't supposed to in my body. Not good. It's See at the bottom, they've only got the slots on the ends, so you still have to take these bolts out. Well, the new gaskets are nice enough to have slots all the way across, so you don't have to. Also, look how thick these things are. Damn, they're thick! Ah, that's one side done. We still gotta do the other. Please don't break. Please don't break. Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't make me get out the torch. Both sides on. No broken bolts. Ta-da. And now for the fun part of the video, we're going to guess the comment section before it happens. So first, somebody's going to say that we should have removed the motor mounts and tilted the motor side to side to make it easier to do the manifolds. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. That is a proper comment. We just didn't do that. We were still successful. The next person is going to tell me that the penetrating oil that I was using is garbage and that whatever they use is better. Croil is awesome. Just going to say that. Uh, somebody's also going to say that we should have removed the manifolds and resurfaced them because they're warped. We're very aware. This, we put the thicker gaskets in so we didn't have to do that until the customer decides what he wants to do with the exhaust later. This was the customer's request, not mine. Next, somebody's going to tell us that those thicker gaskets are garbage and that we're stupid for putting them in. They're fine. They, they really are. It's perfectly fine. Uh, they're going to provide, obviously, a better gasket number with the part number and tell us that's what we should have bought. Uh, and last but not least, someone is going to say Ford FE blocks suck. Chevy's and or Dodge's rule. That's a stupid motor. It's a stupid car. We don't like you. See your way out. Thanks.